you do last season you said that you feel like the development of men's uh, technical has already exceeded the uh, human limit. Yeah, you're right. The youngsters are great. Nathan Chen, he has multiple quads. I think he and this guy, Boyang Jin, look at that quad oh. lutz. I think they have changed the game. Yes. Here's Shoma Uno from Japan. This is Yuzuru Hanyu. He added quad loop to his program, and I know that it's to answer to the young guys. Yeah. So these guys are doing really difficult jumps, yeah. which means the best skater could take three tumbles. And it's very difficult to win because you have to do so much. You want to win. But you always want to win against the best. When they skate the best, that's when it's a true victory. Yeah, that face. Tells so it all. competitive. It was it was solid. It was strong. Exceptional skill. This is wizardry. This it is. is this is otherworldly skating. Are you planning on trying a quad axle? Well, let's just get my triple axle under. What's the most difficult quad for you right now? Most difficult quad. I'm not crazy about edge jumps, so quad style, quad loop. All that time that I had off the ice was spent in the gym, getting stronger. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into the video, make sure that you go down and subscribe to my channel. That way you are always the first to know whenever I upload a video and so that you don't miss one. He's super White boy, white. It's coming up. Spectacular showpiece to watch. Figure skating. Top six. Jumping passes. Combination. Used to watch. Number six. First step, quad flip, triple toe. Whoa. So sharp. didn't have to fight for anything. This was the quad flip into triple toe loop combination. Absolutely beautiful air position. Right here. Oh, no <laughs> at all. Quad triple toe loop. Quad triple toe loop. That's massive. Number five. Triple south coat, or the triple axle before.
quad toe. Half of the flip is going for lands the quad toe, sort of opens his shoulder a little off balance there and realizes, okay, I'm gonna go and put a triple salad. Number four. Right here. So difficult going off the edge. After that triple lutz. Very solid. Triple Sal Triple Loop is 9.2. Your other combo Triple Flip Triple Toe is worth 9.5. Yet, Triple Sal Triple Loop seems more difficult for you but lower score. The math just doesn't add up. And you still do it? Are you out of your mind? Dear ISU, I know there's 99% chance you won't be reading this letter, and whatever my opinion is won't matter to you or change the sport. But I'm still writing this letter because I've been bothered by these questions for so long. I was hooked to figure skating since the first time I watched Yuna Kim's beautiful long program in the Winter Olympic 2010. Until today I still repeatedly re-watch her programs from time to time. But as I learn more about the sport, the jumps, the scoring system, I realize the judging is extremely biased, subjective and unfair to a certain extent. For instance, the long program from Mawasada at Sochi Olympic 2014 which moved me to tears every time. I don't understand how could you give her such a low program component score? 69.68 versus the winner of the event 74.41? Such a low score? To a reigning Olympic silver medalist? To a multiple time world? 4cc and Grand Prix final champion? After she did a triple axle and a triple flip plus triple loop? And after she executed all elements perfectly? Asada's triple flip triple loop combinations were called under rotated. And rightfully so. Then came the Pyeongchang Olympic 2018. Alina Zagatova executed two perfect short and long programs with her trademarks triple lutz triple loop. None of her triple lutz triple loop combinations were called under rotated. But when you put Zagatova and Mouse jump side by side, you realize their takeoff and landing curves were almost the same. I understand it's different competitions, different judges and perhaps there were some judging criteria changes in between these four years, and it's not right to compare these two equally talented skaters in different games and different eras of skating. But it really seems to me that there was certain bias going on against Mao Asada. It seems the judges just didn't like her. I have nothing against any skaters. In fact I enjoy watching all of them skate. I understand they put in numerous amount of effort and time to be the best they can. 
But as you constantly reward skaters for being consistent, can't you be more consistent yourselves than judging and rewarding skaters? I love skating. In fact I would bring my kids to skate when they are old enough for sure. But if they ever want to do figure skating as a career, I will be the first one objecting to that. The very last thing I want is when my kids ask me, Why? Why the judges don't like me? Is it fair play the very first Olympic spirit? And I have no answer to that. Perhaps, if and when I were to take over the judging, I would then let my kids take up figure skating, the sport that I love. Artificial intelligence is going to be extremely helpful. For the first time, computers can see as well as humans. That's pretty incredible. Google, uh, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft are all moving ahead at a great speed in improving this artificial intelligence software. So it's very exciting. Number three. So the, the toll on his body really is about whether these guys can stay fit. He added a new combination this year of the quad toe half loop triple flip. Number two. But again, in combination with a triple axel, a very unusual combination. If he could pull it off, this basically is putting a thumb in the face of the other skaters going, I'm the king. The next element, a new one in competition. A triple axel, triple axel sequence. For all guys, that was such a difficult program. Did you fall down and smack your little head on the pavement? According to ISU, jumping sequence is considered easier than jumping combinations because there is a change of foot. Hence, there is a 20% deduction on the base value of the combination for jumping sequence. Quad toe plus triple axle is marked as a sequence. The base value is therefore 80% of the original value of the jumping combo. So, it all boils down to the... sciencey stuff. Confused yet? What ISU means is basically this. Triple axle plus triple axle has the same difficulty level as triple axle plus one Euler plus triple sal combo. What? And... Quad toe loop triple axle is easier than quad toe triple sal? Seriously? ISU? Name me how many people can do quad toe triple sal? I can't count with my five fingers in one hand for sure. And name me how many people can do quad toe triple axle? Only one. Number one. 